Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Edor Imperium Scenarios. In the previous part, we finished the Legate scenario, so today we are starting a new one. Uh, this one is going to be the, the latest uh, added to the game, the one for Sentinel, for the new hero. And I'm really looking forward to this after uh, quite a disappointment with Legate. I'm looking forward to trying this hero I, that I already checked, uh, and he looks really promising. Honestly, he looks pretty overpowered, so I think you're gonna have some fun with him. Uh, it's this one, Battle in the Dark, and I'll read the description of the scenario once we get to the map. So let's um, load it right away. I've already loaded the scenario once, I wanted to check the hero to have at least some idea how he works and um, basically everything about him is new. He's similar to a warrior, we will see that uh, in a minute, but his abilities are completely different than what warrior has. Uh, and he is quite, quite interesting, uh, very specific. So let's read the description then we get to the hero. Apparently, the underworld has breached a rift into, his, into this shard, and the world is nearing the end. Devoured by unstoppable chaos, or maybe rivers of lava and ashen rains are merely the result of uh, in, uh, incessant volcanic, volcanic uh, activity. Either way, all life in this hell is about to be snuffed in flames. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. The kingdom of dwarves under the mountain never knew peace, for multiple tribes of orcs and goblins, not to mention even more terrible creatures, ensured that the people of Underworld uh, are always at war. But when the caves to the northeast were occupied by a powerful lich on the run from the surface world, uh, the very existence of the dwarves was put in danger. Brave short warriors have uh, displayed wonders of courage fighting against the undead summoned by the lich, but their numbers were getting fewer while their enemies only multiplied. Finally, desperate uh, priests offered to perform an almost forgotten ceremony to create a sentinel. They have summoned the spirit of Magrag, a great hero of the past. After many days of ritual, the warrior's uh, spirit have descended into the uh, specially crafted uh, mechanical body made uh, of mithril and steel. Magrak is a sentinel, a mighty war machine animated with a summoned ghost of a great ancient hero. A sentinel is covered with thick armor and armed, armed with a giant mechanical axe along with a dwarven thunder trumpet with projects missiles using the power of fire. Being a vehicle, the sentinel hero has no use for arms, armor and other equipment. Uh, his capabilities for leadership are very limited, nor is magical ability uh, especially good, but he is all but invulnerable in battle and grows ever more powerful as uh, the union of the spirit and machine is strengthened. So yeah, we have this um, living machine, that's uh, what Sentinel is, and when we open this screen, you can see that all these uh, icons are completely different. Uh, first, uh, we can't use any gear, so that may seem... well, it's both weakness and strength, because when you are starting with Sentinel, uh, I'll be comparing him to a warrior. When you're starting, I'll say, when you're starting with a warrior, you really pray that you get that weapon, and some basic armor, uh, so you increase your numbers high enough so you can uh, start maybe running solo or with just a small support, some healers. Here, this problem is gone. Uh, we get our numbers from our abilities. So, I would say, uh, from what I've seen uh, as I check these abilities, probably won't be able to scale the numbers as high as a fully geared, geared warrior. But we'll be able to scale them much faster and it'll be much safer. We'll rely on, on the loot at all. So I see this as a huge plus. And I think that Sentinel will be a really, really strong starting hero. We'll be able to get um, uh, some gold and um, gear for other heroes pretty quickly. And also, I think it's going to work the way that um, you check uh, what items you're getting. And then you decide what the what the uh, second main hero is going to be based on what you get what you get for the sentinel, or what the sentinel gets. Uh, that's what I wanted to say. 
Now, when we check the description, cannot use items, feels no pain, possess the uh, skill Magic Strike, can learn Sentinel skills up to Master Level 5. Not much here. Um, they say that he's not a good leader, but you can see that on level 12 he can already have uh, one uh, tier 2 unit, and that's more than enough for the support for him. He doesn't need more. He is strong enough to handle most of the fighting alone, especially when you look on his defenses. They have ridiculously high resistance, maybe not, but the defense and range defense are extremely high. So most uh, in most of the fights he won't have any problems with anything, and he can just run forward or in this case drive forward and kill everything easily without taking almost any damage and he has 88 hit points so if he takes some damage here and there who cares also on level 12 you can see that he has quite a few spell slots also in the description they said he's not a good spell caster but for the uh, support that he has you know uh, let's say haste uh, to start it with uh, some extra defense from magic armor or, or attack from the magic weapon. I think he can use vampirism even. It's weird that the machine would be able to leech life, but I think it works because when he's damaged, uh, he can be healed. He doesn't have to be repaired. Uh, that would make more sense if uh, the healing would be repair, it's not healing, but. Um, uh, from what I know, you can repair him, so I think it makes sense that uh, Leech would work as well for him. So you can take Vampirism if you get into trouble, and you know all these bombs uh, you can take. There's more than enough room in the spell book for you that, so no problems with spells. And now when we check abilities, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not sure that these are. Uh, all that uh, you have available. Maybe there is some more that you'll uncover, but um, you'll get a pretty good idea what the Sentinel is about just from what we can see here. Uh, we're starting with defensive routines. Mm, defense. All about defense. Uh, ranged, melee, plus counter attack and parry. And you can see that every level of those numbers are going up really, really a lot. Uh, with one level, let's say when we when we go from level one to level two, getting plus five defense overall, together with some damage from counter and parry, it's crazy. That's that's why I think he'll be so strong early. Every level up will be so significant and will allow you to fight a uh, much much stronger army. So I think on level three you can easily uh, clear all the T1 fights that you you will have available probably even solo and with that you'll be able to level up extremely fast getting more of these crazy level ups and the snowballing of this hero will start so fast also we are not getting just the uh, numbers there are also level ups um, that gives us some special uh, like utility abilities uh, damage weapon first strike that's coming from defensive routines and each of these uh, uh, abilities that we will check later, get, uh, or add something like that so in the final stage. It's gonna be pretty crazy what this guy can do, I think. So, uh, that was defensive routines, then we have controller routines. Uh, resistance, morale, plus tireless and intrepid. Tireless on level 3 only. Wow. Usually, or usually. Very often the problem with the warrior or warrior like heroes is their stamina. So you have to take uh, your astral energies and use them here and there instead of an attack or uh, you like cast then you can attack but you have to make sure that you have them available. Uh, here once you get to level 3 you just get rid of all of your astral energies and it doesn't matter how many uh, opponents there are, you can just stand in the middle of the pack and keep counter-attacking forever. Uh, to me this seems a little bit overpowered, maybe it comes too early. Uh, I think this is going to be one of the strongest level ups. Also the resistance that's coming with it and morale. Uh, yeah, But uh, all these abilities that you'll see are really strong. Then we have uh, survival routines. You can see that hit points are scaling up again really fast. 
but here I understand that since we can't get any hit points from gear, uh, plus five hit points if you get, uh, let's say, armor and I don't know, bracers, you usually have five hit points from the basic stuff, so maybe this is not uh, as overpowered as it may seem. Uh, stamina for a while until you get tireless, then this becomes obsolete. Recuperation, regeneration, regeneration uh, that will be still useful, but overall the defensive, I mean survival routines are not as amazing. But well, we need to get those hit points somewhere, so uh, this is something you'll have to take every time. Uh, offensive routines plus attack plus precise strike, uh, sounds pretty good, the attack is scaling very fast, and uh, then you add the damage armor, arm piercing strike, crippling strike, and round attack 4 on level 5, uh, yeah. and this all adds up, so we are getting all of these things later, together with the damage weapon and first strike, holy crap, that's, that's insane. Then we have fire routines. This is a ranged abilities. I'm not sure how useful this is going to be. I don't think that you ever want to make this guy like pseudo ranged hero. I don't think it's not worth it. He's just too strong as a melee. Uh, ranged attack ammo, collect ammo. Precise shot, ammo, ranged, flaming missiles. On level 5, double shot with all this um, extra damage, with extra ammo. Well, maybe if um, uh, you have, um, or if it's possible to take all the levels for all the abilities uh, on level 30, then yeah, sure. But I think this is going to be one of the lowest priorities. And then we have energy routines uh, to boost our spells a little bit because the hero is not um, already overpowered. Uh, we need to boost our magic as well with spell duration, which is on level 1 precisely what we need. Most of the time we're just going to be using buffs, so we need them to last as long as possible. So here it comes from level 1. Uh, some extra spells, spell power, target resistance. And not a big deal, though on level 5, magic absorption, I mean, seriously, immune to magic? Basically, or to fancy spells? That is interesting. Uh, oh, let's we'll see how, how crazy this is. This is more like an ability, I would say, for multiplayer to make sure your hero can't be destroyed by by magic damage or spell damage but well uh, again if um, uh, the hero will be able to take all of this on level 30 all the way to level 5 let's say 5 10 20 30 yeah, it seems that if these are all the abilities the sentinel can get then we should be able to take everything to level 5 Having magic absorption and you know all the stuff before that's quite interesting. I think this guy will have to be nerfed a bit. <laughs> I don't know. For a first uh, look, it seems that uh, he'll make the game maybe too easy. It's just all numbers are scaling uh, very quickly in the early game, plus the special abilities you're getting. Seems like too much. Maybe slow down the scaling on low levels and increase the scaling on high levels. Something like that. That's what I think about him when I first look at him. But we'll see. We'll try him. Maybe it's not uh, that crazy. Uh, for mid game and later, the no gear uh, penalty is very significant. But we'll see. Okay, so that's our hero. Now here we have also two units we haven't seen yet on camera, so I'll go through those quickly as well. Then we can start uh, fighting, or at least try one fight. I think in this part that's all we're gonna be able to do. Uh, we have a miner, like a dwarf miner, like the new, I'd say, basic uh, dwarf unit. Nothing uh, super interesting about this guy. Basic tier 1 unit, on level 5, 21 hit points. Yeah, why not? 
uh, 8.6 to do 5, decent resistance, that's nice. Movement 1, so that's a problem on these large maps. Just basic units, if you need something, you can take this guy, he can do some damage, but nothing amazing. In hills, of course, he'll be better, he has some first aid. Uh, not really bad, not really good. Then we have uh, Dwarf Pyromancer, I, I'm Pyromaster, that's more interesting. Oh, I'm not sure if I like it or not, I have to see more of his level ups. Uh, because of his fire arrows, he has some potential, but I'm not sure... You would have to get the, the new fire dot they added a few patches ago. I don't see it yet, but I think he'll get it at some point. Then if he can get some fire damage over time, I think that will give him the, the punch that he needs. Because for now, 6 attack is not that amazing, only 4 shots. Uh, Pre-limited range, he has decent-ish stats for, uh, for a range unit. He can do some damage in melee. Uh, I don't know, but at some point I'll have to try to level at least one of these guys to higher levels. I really want to see what they are capable of on higher levels. So, that's another one, and we already know engineers and the guardsmen. Okay, uh, now before we fight, we probably want to take more spells. Uh, haste. Uh, yeah, sure, magic weapon. Do I care about magic weapon? Nope. I'd rather take fire blade, lightning. Don't care about that at all. <laughs> okay, haste I want. Magic armor I probably want as well. Um, I want another fire blade. One is probably enough. Think about the lab. Astral energy. Be another astral energy. Just have to check. Tireless, we are getting on level 3. Okay, so for now, we do need the astral energy. I think something like this. I may have to change the spell setup first. I have to try the hero fight uh, uh, a few times, then I'll see what, uh, uh, what we really need. Um. What else? Yes, yeah, stories, we don't care about that. What do we have here? We can take... Uh, Ballista. Or we can take Grenadier. He has flaming missiles. I could try this guy. Oh, he is free, really. We have to pay for siege weapons. We don't have to pay for a battle wagon, so all the dwarf units are free. Hmm. I think I'll. Oh, but we have to pay uh, to get the unit. You don't have to pay the upkeep, but we have to pay if you want to recruit them. Though, with the money that we have, it's really not a problem. I'd really like to get a healer. Can we somehow get a healer? Uh, no. What about... What do we need for the Temple of Light? I think that uh, Word of Life would be very, very good. So I'll take that. Let's start working on that. Uh, Sage's Guild. Next turn, we build the Temple of Life, change the spell setup. Um... And since we can't get the healer, we can uh, grab the Grenadier, a new unit that uh, I want to test out. 745, not amazing stats for a tier 2 unit, but it's level 0 and I have a feeling uh, he will be able to scale up the damage uh, pretty effectively. So let's, let's try it. It's free after all, so why not? Also, I should probably... By the way, how expensive is the Miner? 54, that's... Okay, it's cheaper than normal Dwarf. 
or whatever. Let's let's take him. I just need to have something in the garrison, just in case. Um, so we have spells. We have uh, uh, the new unit, and what do we have here? Uh, adventures, bandits, adventure. Oh, we have mercenary guild. Well, I don't think that we're gonna need it, but we have the option. Brigands and Dwarven Warband, that's new. I already noticed this when I checked the scenario of camera, that there was this Dwarven Warband. I have no idea what it is, so we're gonna try it. Not right now, but uh, pretty soon. First, I would like to get uh, those healing spells. So I'll probably start with Brigands. Maybe, let me actually replace one Astral Energy with Cure Wounds. Have at least one heal, just in case. You never know. Okay, go. Okay, this will be pretty fast. Uh, let's move you down, and I'll check the hero. I want to see the animation let's see turn around can we turn him around now we have to start the fight first um, okay grandier is gonna stand on the hill you are gonna stand on the hill and you are gonna be somewhere don't really care right now let's swap these two start the fight Okay, now we can turn him around. Hmm. He looks okay-ish, but... I would say he deserves like more detail. Compare him to, for example, how detailed the model of the Guardsman is. All the details on the armor and everything. Here... I don't know, it seems like it's not the final version, like the dev set. Okay, it will be something like this, but let's add it to the game. We can work on the detailed graphics later, which makes sense. First, you have to make sure it uh, works properly, then you can work on the unimportant or less important things, so like the final design. And I think he deserves a bit more work. Okay. But let's finally start doing something. So how are we going to use this guy? Um, probably with haste on turn 1. And now we can run pretty quickly. Now look at that. Let's try the Grenadier, now when we have uh, the thief in range. Okay, that was too easy. It's true that we are level 12. And our numbers are quite impressive. I really should try something more difficult. Um, let's grab those new spells, or a new spell, probably just one. Construct. I'll also uh, need stone skin, I think. Uh, it's gonna be the next magic school we're gonna build. If we can still, that's a question. Um, I don't think that I care about this. I'd really rather have uh, the Sphere of Stone here. Phantom Form, Sleep. No, I don't think that we need the uh, Illusionist, Illusionist Guild for this hero. Okay, so what's it gonna be? All of this, uh, I mean, all of this, seems to be. 
really, really weak for this hero. Oh, and we can... Okay, we can't recruit a new hero in this scenario. So, to all have to be done by the Sentinel. I just wanted to recruit an exploration ball before we move on. But, but that's not happening. Well, let's attack... Um, uh, this... Um, what is it called? Undermountain Kingdom, guarded by Dwarven Warband. That looks... or sounds... Uh, Pretty interesting, though it's a very string, so I don't know if there are like multiple tiers of this army. We'll see. Just weird that in this scenario we are gonna fight dwarves. From the description, it seemed to me that uh, uh, we are just last few dwarves desperately trying to defend what's left of our race, and now we are gonna just kill our brethren. Eh, that's weird. Okay, Heavenly Light creation. Don't care anything about anything here. Chalice of Life might be useful. Okay, well, let's do this. <laughs> wow. Uh, Guardsman, Engineer, Grenadier, oh, Battle Wagon, that could be a problem. Iron Man, sir. So 16 unit, that's quite a lot. So I'd say, we don't care about Dwarves, we don't care about Guardsmen or Engineers. Or Miners. Uh, I think it's gonna be about the Wrench Units. Grenadiers and special pyromancers. I mean, about no, no, about pyromancers and especially grenadiers. Grenadiers are the tier two. How much damage they'll be able to do? And did I take those new spells? Okay, let's go back. Damn it. This is what I want. And I think I'm going to take another astral energy. I'll even go without the fire blade, take another word of life. Now we're gonna try again. That was a wasted turn. Okay, and we're gonna try to attack. I think with the numbers that we have, we should be able to handle this. And if we can handle this, it will show how strong the hero is on level 12. I'll just send him forward and we'll see what happens. Uh, to send him forward, I should probably move him to the middle. And then they'll regroup the remaining units behind him somehow. Okay, let's start. Um, do I want to start with haste? There are hills everywhere. Now let's just uh, move slowly. It should be still fine. You can move forward. You can move forward. And the guardsmen want to have... Probably around here, we're gonna have to protect the engineer in the middle. The hero should be able to handle it. And I don't think they can flank us from the north. Okay, that looks good. Almost no damage from the battle wagon. I'm thinking about uh, when we're gonna start using buffs, but it seems that we don't need them yet. Also, I'm not sure where to stop. Probably where we are. I don't want to allow them to come too close, but this position 
looks pretty good. Next tile, we have to go, uh, or now we are standing on the hill, then we have to go down, and there is also this impossible obstacle that would force them to move around, and some of them would probably try to get um, to our guys here. I don't want that to happen, I want all of them to attack the hero. Uh, oh, 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 no, 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 you are not attacking him. Uh, didn't see that coming. Pretty good range, these uh, battle wagons. Let's move away. Two, four, six, seven, okay. This is fine now. Or I could do is maybe move on this tile. Go. And we will need some healing. They're not taking that much damage uh, from from every hit, but it adds up. So let's use the word of life. I want to make sure that it works, that we can heal this way, that we don't have to repair the hero. Now he can use it and he'll get those that healing from that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's something I would personally change. It's a machine after all, so I would make it that he can be healed only uh, by units that can repair. Then you would basically run this hero together with like militia who can get repairs, and then later with engineers. Uh, it would be a significant weakness, of course. Um, a lot more difficult to get uh, uh, heals for unit that has to be repaired than for unit that can be healed. Oh, and by the way, the reason why these guys uh, were taking damage around the hero is that uh, the battle wagon, I remember that, has... Um, I think it's the flaming missiles? Yeah, that's uh, doing splash damage. So, <laughs> this is not really a good strategy for them to stack up around the hero before the battle wagon started shooting, because they can hit their own units. Oh, two, four, six. How much ammo? Oh, I don't have any ammo left. Do you have collect ammo? Nope. Okay. It's fine. Sure, which way I want to go? Pyro, pyro. Ah. They will get to us from one side. I think I'm going to retreat with the whole army to this corner, so they just ha have to come through the hero. Okay, I'll start working on the battle wagon. Um, Next. That was fast. Okay, I can stay here. And all of you guys run as fast as you can.
I have to stop those battle wagons. Uh, and these two we should be able to handle. Do they have ammo? Nope, not anymore. They should be fine. I'm thinking that um, maybe I'll even get rid of all our wars and run the hero solo. He's not taking any damage. You don't need to support it. If we just move to the middle of the map, uh, even if I wasn't attacking, I wouldn't be able to kill him. I'd be just able to heal through with um, uh, with the word of life. Use a heal again. They're not even attacking anymore. The army looked pretty strong when I first saw it 16 units. Uh, tier 2, tier 3 units in, in that army and um, a few turns later the hero is on full hit points we didn't lose anything, they're all dead and uh, they were around level 10 all of them I don't say this is an army that's easy to kill it's just the hero is so strong let's see the loot and level ups it was over a thousand already. And what can we get here? Command. Yeah, don't really care about that. I really think we're gonna uh, run a solo. Uh, hit points, stamina regeneration, maybe. Oh no 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 no! Forget about more hit points. We can get tireless. Uh, crippling strike. It'd be nice to get the round attack, but I think tireless first. And I'm not sure if that works, but that's round attack and tireless means that we can use round attack every turn and we will never run out of stamina. I think it does. I don't know the, uh, the exact wording of the tireless ability, but it just means that we won't be losing stamina anymore. Uh, guys, if you know uh, like 100% how the combination of tireless and round attack works, if it really means that uh, we can keep using it uh, all the time and uh, you won't be losing stamina, please let me know in comments. Just want um, the confirmation that it really works this way uh, because it sounds a bit overpowered to me. Okay, let's take that. I level ups. Uh, resistance for you. Uh, I think I'll take morale. I want to build this guy as a range unit. So I don't care about melee attack. And what did we get? Skite of Death. Yep. That's an interesting item. Very interesting item. But um, in this scenario, it's just um, more gold. This is the kind of loot that we needed in the previous scenario with the Legget, at least when it comes to gold, because we needed to get those tier 3 units, you're not getting anything there. Here, when we probably don't need the gold at all, we have almost everything that we need, we'll probably end up with like 30,000 in the end of the scenario. 
Well, what is this? You've managed to overcome the portal guards, but the people of Undermountain City had centuries to prepare this uh, particular course of events. Colossal stone door turns almost um, uh, soundlessly on its hidden hinges, sealing the Dwarven Kingdom from the aggressive surface dwellers. No doubt, uh, not for the first time, nor for the last. Uh, okay, so it has to do something with uh, the location. I thought it was something to do with the story on this shard, but it's probably only um, saying that we can't enter the kingdom that we basically just attacked, since that was the name of the location. Oh, okay, whatever, you don't really care. Uh, what is this? While priests were summoning the spirit of uh, Magrak, dwarven engineers were busy designing a risky backup plan. The underworld is infamous for, it, for its volcanic activity, causing explosion in specific places that would result in a magma eruption flooding the caves already overrun by, by undead with lava, or at least cutting them off from the dwarven homeland. According to their calculations, charges must be placed in the province of Fiendhav uh, on the northwest and um, uh, deer down on the southeast beyond the gorges. Hmm. So it seems that um, we are not killing uh, any AI on this charge, we just have to place some uh, charges. Actually, maybe. Uh, a bit more interesting just killing uh, an opponent because um, there is a chance that these provinces will be guarded with um, some decent neutral armies. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Can we see those names here? Uh, no, but we can read the description uh, because I'd never remember names of uh, these two provinces. Okay. So, we are done with this part. By the way, how large is this shard? I didn't even check that. Started talking about the hero already. Wow. The AI is in this corner. We can see a blue border. It's a pretty damn large shard. And we are only two people here. Which means... Uh, there be some really tough fights in the middle of the map. Fifth, maybe even sixth ring of provinces in between us. Uh, we can have some really, really interesting neutral fights here. That would be a nice change after just slaughtering uh, AI after AI. At least in the previous scenarios. That's what we are doing most of the time. Okay, so I'm looking forward to that, and I hope that you're uh, going to join me for the next part. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.